What is in that oil? <laughs> I did a little bit of research to find out what could possibly be in that oil that's leaking out. Why is it brown and not black? Now the research that I found, if you look at the highest le levels of toxics that come out of oil, I'm presuming it's I'm probably going to pronounce it P Cresol, P C R E S O L. Do some research on that because it's yellow. Yellow mixed with black is, makes brown. So I am presuming that what is flowing out into the Gulf is the most toxic chemicals known to man spewing out of there mixed with oil. I believe they probably are using dispersants to make sure it doesn't get into the air and so that it stays in the water. Yes, it's going to kill everything in the water, but it's a matter of do you want it out in the air so you breathe it and we're all dead a lot faster. So that's my assumption and I don't believe that they are going to tell you anything. But that's what, what my research is finding out. If you do some research yourself, what is making that color brown? What is typically found in oil? There are high grades of toxic chemicals that are mixed with oil. And I am presuming that it's the most toxic thing known to man that's coming out of that hole. And I have presented ideas on how to block that hole or how, how to use that oil not through blocking it but through using electromagnetics using the force coming out there to hold the seal I can't see how that wouldn't work it would make the perfect seal using the same energy level coming out to hold the seal together and then using piping but if you kind of find out why they're not using this technology and they're more concerned with blowing that up and stopping it, it's because they cannot control the poison that's coming out of there. They don't want that poison. They want that thing stopped. So they have to block it off. They have to blow the shit out of that to stop it and to even risk blowing that up may even release more. So we really don't know what the hell we're doing. Um, do some research. Um, there is a guy called named Dr. Vernon Wolf, who was poisoned with high-grade uranium, and he cured himself of this. And out of that cure, he's developed a system that transforms all toxic waste into pure, clean energy. There's no question this guy will know how to transform that toxic waste into pure, clean energy. I suggest we start uh, sending some email campaign to Dr. Wolf. Send an email campaign to your leaders, anybody within your community. Start getting them aware of the fact that you know how toxic that stuff that's coming out of that oil is and tell them that you demand that this Dr. Wolf get on board. He's the only one that I've done research on that knows how to transform toxic waste into pure clean energy. He's the only one in my research that would know how to handle this problem. Why they're not connecting together? Don't know. But maybe as humanity, if we want to do something better, if we want to save ourselves, we need to start connecting the dots and getting the right people on the job. Why my research has led me to know everything I know, I have no idea. All I know is I'm motivated to share the information that I've shared in. All I know is I'm a master researcher. If I want to find any answer, I know exactly where to find it. And... I wanted to find the answers to an awful lot of questions and I found it. You know, this uh, Dr. Wolf has also been using this technology 
proving this science for more than 30 years how to cure every illness. He's been curing every illness, but nobody's funding it because they'll all be out of money. He's been going into mental institutions, curing people that have been diagnosed to be incurable. And once they reached over, I, I believe, an 80% or 90% cure rate, he was fired because the hospitals were losing funding because they have no patients. He's been curing cancer, AIDS, mental illness, addictions, using the concept, cure the cause, and you cure the illnesses. He knows how to transform things, problems into solutions. Why he has not been more public, I believe there's more forces not wanting this to be out because there's no money in it. And I don't believe this guy is greedy because if he was greedy, we'd all be knowing about it. He'd be a master at selling his own friggin' books. But I believe in his heart he's really loving and at the same time doesn't know how to get this information out. Um, but why have I seen the pieces of these puzzles? Why can I see a different picture than everybody else? Um, it's just something, please do your own research. Find out what makes the color brown. What is the most toxic? What color is it? Oil is generally black. If you mix yellow with black, it turns brown. So what's brown has to be that it is the most toxic fumes that once it gets into the air will kill the majority of the planet. They're trying to keep all of that underwater, which is why they're using dispersants that is more toxic, but I believe it's the worst of two evils. Talk to your representatives. Let them know about Dr. Wolf. Do some research on Dr. Wolf. Start putting pressure on Dr. Wolf to actually force him to make his voice more heard. Tell him to start posting videos on his research. Do it free on YouTube. Let's see what he's got to say. And let's educate ourselves on what's going on. Let's try and save ourselves. Start using your intuition. Don't listen to what I'm saying. Do your own research so you can save yourself. Just a thought. Love to you all. Peace out.